the week of the Waysec full moon happening on April 4th, um, the sun is in Taurus, opposition to moon in Scorpio. The sun was not, was not nice uh, to be in the sign of the bull. This full moon responds to the last new moon, which was made in the sign of Aries Ram. And it would seem like there was something to, initi uh, to initiate because the ascendant of this full moon is in Aries with Uranus, the innovative and liberator, which is in its conjunction. I think that you could not say that this year the momentum in Aries um, has not been to feel as strongly as other years. It must be remembered that the passage of the sun in Aries was done under the leadership of the new moon as the very last degree of the Pisces fish. Uh, so we were still in a period rather blurred with a lot of fatigue. Despite everything, we have certainly lived the changes such as uh, the moves, uh, new job, meeting new, uh, new or rupturing. And in this case, it has not had been uh, easy to manage or what happened in our lives has not given everything that we have expected for the moment or so we have been able to feel the dissatisfaction frustration due to the lack of recognition but first and foremost to a lack of affirmation on our part which what which we must remedy do not assert itself in its tantamount uh, to run out of love for itself whether we say it's proof of value that we give it is therefore still uh, time to do so. Uh, and anyways, with Uranus combined in Aries, we uh, can only go forward to live and let live that uh, what we animate. And the influence of the energies of Aries, uh, of Aries under uh, the moat is still in the fish. Uh, we allow to continue to trim and to go to the possible and renewal uh, without the complete head down. Even, even if we do not know how to access um, our liberation or our evolution uh, following our situation. It was good to note our impressions on the changes that we want to. This full moon uh, will be a, an accomplishment of this last new moon that took place in Aries on April 18th and it is quite a possible positive one because our impulse, our affirmation or renewal will be able to not only continue to reveal to us but also to, re to, to take root, take the body uh, without um, the stain impetus, without the without the sweet Mars, the planet of um, that governs uh, Aries, where it is in the ascendant, it's like uh, the sun is in the sign of the bull, which will allow us to give value to our impulses, the root, and and then feed and then feed on that um, Mars energy. By contrast, Saturn uh, that comes uh, opposing uh, this Mars. Um, does not allow us to, to feed on this overabundance by any way. This will be the demand, demanding food to, to tr the food of truth. Saturn in Sagittarius, therefore, is in, is in general, we will be built in an expansion of ourselves or our situation. But in this current position, it, it is not able to establish both clear reflections and therefore all thoughtful actions. So if you put things into action, do not be surprised if you have no idea of the result of the events for the moment. Just take uh, what we've nurtured and make us uh, feel good. Saturn op op opposes, opposes uh, to Mars, uh, the plan of action, and Mercury are thinking in our capacity to adapt by the understanding of the situation. Uh, plumb us to our state of mind, and the square of the nebulous Neptune uh, confuses our intellectual opportunities. This month of May is not really done to make decisions. It would rather be done for deep reflection of our core values, what we love and those who, lo who we love. Added to this of the opposition of, um, of the moon in Scorpio in, and the sun, uh, what is normal for a full moon, which marks always uh, the opposition of these two luminaries, which uh, the moon is in Scorpio, is, is spoke to uh, of a surplus of acquisition and a spirit frozen on the property and the fear of miss, missing, missing. This year, the energy of Aries, the bull, seems to want to make us understand that it is time to find the true meaning of this sign. <clears throat> it has not only been a vocation to accumulate property uh, and has not only been the function of materialism, it is also to magnify life and the feed of the germ of renewal and potential that the Aries the man, ram is to initiate us. 
the planets of this aspect will with this moon are Neptune and Pluto. They are the ones that will bring this constructive action energy. But these are also two internalizing planets and the loss of all values, regeneration of them. Pluto, of course, will help us destroy all forms, limiting to our access of our ultimate truths and our fullfulness. And Neptune will, will feel what we need to feed a healthy life and abundant joy and pleasure. It is in a better understanding of our needs and our values that we can move forward more uh, slightly uh, disencumbered uh, of our excess of possession and the fear of missing our values. This map of the full moon asks us to move from the heaviness and what behooves us by the, air, uh, by the bull, um, the sacred cow, which is recept receptive energy and in turn, um, the reality, uh, by his good sense, uh, this spirit is a practice, patience and endurance, joy, and also healthy abundance for those who want to continue in this game of possession and values only in materialistic forms. It will be hard enough because Jupiter in square to Leo, um, and to these two luminaries, the sun and the moon, this combined with the Saturnine. Uh, aspects will create stubbornness, reports of force, yet uh, the lust and greed. Enjoy the simple joy that offers us by the time of the by this time of the year. The bull represents our values that we love, uh, second house, um, and what we produce. Um, it is it is true that it is in doing that we love what we become, productive and be satisfied with our with our um, possessions. That we, um that we share and enjoy. So doing things that you liked in small moments uh, of pleasures and joys, it is not our possessions that make us happy, but what we share um, and take advantage of the spirit of this West Waysack moon, uh, which provides and distributes a surplus, forgive and ask for forgiveness, remain in the heart alone and be able to magnify this life and light. Thank you all for watching. This has been a full moon astrological report uh, with uh, the Sun in Taurus, Moon in Scorpio making an opposition. Thank you for watching.